Some people in Oxford County ended their night with a bang this past Thursday as an earthquake rattled through Greenwood. The U.S. Geological Survey marked the quake at a magnitude 2.3. As of this hour, 69 people have responded to the USGS survey saying they felt the seismic event. New Center Maine's David Guilford has more from Greenwood and the science behind these events here. September storms are commonplace in Maine, but earthquakes? What was that big loud bang noise? Sarah Prine lives about a half mile from the epicenter of an earthquake that sprouted up in Greenwood Thursday night, a magnitude 2.3. Not a stein nor mug danced off Prine's shelves, and it didn't rumble per se. I thought somebody hit the house or hit a tree or hit, hit something. It just was one big bang and then nothing. These earthquakes are very spread out in Maine, and you guys do have earthquakes. You have about one magnitude three and larger earthquakes per year. U.S. Geological Large Survey seismologist Paul Earle said earthquakes in Maine are much less severe than many out west on boundaries between two tectonic plates. Maine is not near active boundaries, but we do get some earthquakes from ancient fault lines below our state. If you live in Washington County, you might have felt targeted this year. Between August 11th and September 1st, 10 earthquakes were recorded in the town of Jonesboro alone. Earl said it's not time to pack up and leave, though. Rather, he's not surprised at all to see one earthquake after another in the same spot. Earthquakes begat earthquakes. You have, uh, um, everybody knows the term aftershock. I mean, you have a large earthquake, you're going to have a, a series of aftershocks for that. So this is the bedrock geology of Maine map. Put Alice Doughty, a UMaine geology lecturer, not only believes earthquakes like Greenwood's shouldn't raise alarm, for her, they will look into Maine's history, ancient history. It gets us to think about Pangaea, it gets to think about when the Appalachians were so much bigger than they are today, like bigger than the Himalayas. Uh, it opens up all these questions about how much of the Earth's surface has eroded. Sarah Prine's not thinking about Pangaea. This was just an exciting day for her in a relatively quiet town. I don't think we're going to fall off into the ocean anytime soon. And this farmhouse has stood for 100 years, so I'm sure it can last for another 100. In Greenwood, one hopes. David Guilford. That would be the plan. New Center, Maine.